Hello and welcome to the second episode of DanCast FanCast. I'm Dan. I've got my Con L shirt on, and today I'll be fancasting Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. Before I begin casting, at the end of this video, I'll be announcing last week's giveaway winner, as well as revealing this week's giveaway. Each week I do a themed giveaway, so remember to subscribe and comment for your chance to win. U.S. addresses only, please. With the previous week's hot news being the current state of the DCU and Henry Cavill's role moving forward, I wanted to look at the rumor that Warner Brothers is considering replacing Henry Cavill with Black Panther, Creed, and Fantastic Four actor Michael B. Jordan. Now, I don't think the DCU would expect fans after a four-movie arc between Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, and Justice League to go from this to this. Specifically, I think Jordan would be playing another Superman character, potentially Earth-23's Calvin Ellis, or Earth-2's Val Zod. I'm not particularly a big fan of the multiverse because these characters don't really have unique backstories. They mostly share Clark Kent's mythos with minor character difference. Calvin Ellis lives among humans as president of Earth-23, while Val Zod, for example, is a pacifist who has been taught that violence is the lowest means of finding resolve. The DCEU simply needs to establish a cohesive Earth-Zero as its foundation before introducing the convoluted multiverse on the big screen. Flying into the 31st century, I introduce to you today's fan cast topic and one of my personal favorite animated series, The Legion of Superheroes. The story begins with the Legionnaires caught in a battle with the odds against them and traveling back in time to find the Superman of the 21st century. When they arrive, they search Smallville, the hometown of Superman, only to find a young Clark Kent before becoming the Big Blue Boy Scout, struggling with his newfound abilities and the idea that he is an alien. During the course of the series, Clark travels to the future, learns a few tricks, and becomes one step closer to becoming the Man of Steel. This show was able to reboot Superman the Animated Series without stepping on its toes. It closed loose ends such as the Bottled City of Kandor storyline, where Superman vowed to one day unshriek the Kryptonian city and the encased Kryptonian residents, as well as what Brainiac is up to in the future, where he was able to meet his aunt, Allura, and Uncle Zor-El, and discover the fate of Supergirl's parents. Again, this could coincide nicely with the Supergirl movie coming out soon. Original characters were introduced like Drax, a character that is alluded to be General Zod's son, born in the Phantom Zone while Zod was confined to the dimension. What made this story a standalone chapter in Superman's lore is that after the series ends, Clark travels back in time to the very moment that he left, as if nothing ever happened. And the good news is that it's very plausible to include this story and maintain the current DCEU continuity. In Man of Steel, we were able to see a glimpse of young Clark as he learned from his father, uh, Jonathan Kent, that he's an alien. A Legion of Superhero movie could be a placeholder, um, bookended by Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman. In Man of Steel, young Clark was portrayed by Dylan Sprayberry. Considering the movie is five years old, Sprayberry is now the perfect age to reprise his role as Superboy. So far, the DCU has been able to find actors and actresses who resemble their adult counterparts pretty well. Let's take a look at the comparisons of Sprayberry next to young Cavill. Other than Man of Steel, Sprayberry was on MTV's Teen Wolf, and here we have a French artist's rendition of Dylan as Superboy with the artist's Instagram handle below. This was an easy sell for me. I like how the aesthetic of the suit remains while having a more futuristic flair to it. Thankfully, this role would not need to be recasted, and other reprised roles should include a younger Martha and Jonathan Kent, played by Diane Lane and Kevin Costner. But because this is a fan cast video, let's shift over to the Legionnaires. First up, our founding member, Saturn Girl. When I look for alien characters, I like unique looking features like large or slanted eyes, and I could honestly go either way with either of these two actresses as far as appearance. Gemma Ward had a bit role in The First Strangers as Dollface, while the more seasoned actress here is Amanda Seyfried. Second up is Lightning Lad. He's heroic, but still a bit of a hothead. For Lightning Lad, I instantly see KJ Appa in the role already rocking the blue and gold from his role as Archie in Riverdale. Another original member of the Legion is Phantom Girl. And for her, I had to go with an actress that could pull off the ominous look and feel like an apparition. Starring in Split and the upcoming sequel Glass, Anya Taylor-Joy fits the required role characteristics. My personal favorite character of the Legion is Brainiac 5, a descendant of the first Brainiac. If you watched my last video, I fancast Michael Fassbender as the villain Brainiac and wanted to match the non-human elements as Fassbender is able to convince, 
what the human qualities Brainiac 5 possesses. And with this, I got Freddy Stroma. You may know Stroma from his role as Cormac in the Harry Potter franchise. Stroma has the range to play both manipulative and conniving, as well as withdrawn, or a leading man as seen in Pitch Perfect. The last character I'll be fancasting is Bouncing Boy. I felt with the character Ned leads in Spider-Man Homecoming and Avengers that Jacob Batalone should get the chance to play a hero. I think Batalone would be the perfect fit in the Legion as the Legion's mechanic and as the member in charge of recruits and training new Legionnaires. This is an ensemble cast, so quickly let's take a look at a recap of the full team. I'd like to thank those that participated and congratulate congratulate and congratulate last week's giveaway winner, Boss MGR, who was randomly selected to receive a copy of Supergirl Rebirth number one and a bag of glow in the dark green kryptonite. Email me at dancastfancast at yahoo.com with the subject giveaway winner and send me your shipping address. Alright, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know who your top choices are for your favorite characters in the comment section below. Or if I missed any. Remember to like and subscribe and ring that bell for your ticket to the next show. And for your chance to win a themed giveaway for each episode of DanCast's US addresses only. This episode's giveaway is of an 11 by 17 inch print done by me. By the very characters fan cast in the roles I just discussed. Bye.